Today's lesson is the four-strand braid, at least how I accomplish a four-strand braid, because uh, I've read some instructions online, but if you're like me, you have no idea what the heck they're saying. I cannot comprehend braiding instructions. I do much better if I can actually see it done, or someone explains to me while they do it. Thus, I will try and explain to you how I accomplish a four-strand braid. So let's get started, shall we? Begin, of course, by separating your hair into four strands. Now what we're basically doing is weaving. So we're going to take our first strand, go over the second strand, underneath the third strand, and over the fourth. Now as you go over the fourth, you want to bring that back around and come underneath, and then go back over the third strand, underneath the second, and back around. So basically what we're doing is taking that very first strand and weaving it over and under the remaining three. Neat, huh? Now, as much as I'd love to be able to do my entire braid from this angle, I can't because I kind of need to be able to see. <laughs> That's just me. So here we go. Switch it to the front. I can actually see what I'm doing. And you're just going to continue weaving that original strand over and under and around. Now, I know that it's really going to feel like you don't have enough fingers to do this. Because sometimes it doesn't feel like I have enough fingers. But I will promise that with practice, it does get a lot easier. It still takes a little time. This isn't one that you can whip out in, you know, a couple of seconds. But I think the results are worth it. It's definitely visually interesting and you know even though most people aren't going to notice they're just going to see oh a braid other long hair girls and guys will notice though because guess who braids their hair <laughs> all the time so I really I really like this braid because it's round um, like a rope braid. Uh, most braids are more flat, you know, your standard type and Dutch are more of a flat type braid. Whereas this one is uh, round. And I don't know if that's because it's an even number or what, but whatever reason, it makes me happy. <laughs> Alrighty, so we get to the end, and I will warn you that since you are weaving the one piece, you're going to have more left over on the end than, you know, your standard tight braid, but that's okay, because, you know, you can always stick some whatever on it that you use, give a little curl, what have you, and there you have a four-strand braid. See how nice and round it is? It's kind of like braided on all sides. Me, huh? And as always, with all braids, you can bun it. Mm 
which is always a good way just to get it up off your neck. But it does make a pretty bun. So there you have it, four-strand braid. Practice, 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 and you can do it too.